G'day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Little Butts Man. Now, let me tell you this. Is this the is camera little. On? Yeah, camera's on. Okay. I couldn't see a flash. So there's no flash. It's filming. No, but I thought there was a little red light. No, there's never been a red light. <laughs> Dicky, <laughs> what's wrong? I'm tired. It's been a big weekend. We've been on the road, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen, and thank you everybody, everybody who's come yes. out and seen us over the last week. And everyone's been so cool with Claire. What about yesterday? Claire got her first photo at the airport with a dude, and he didn't even look at me. Like, I didn't exist in the world. He just walked over, little dicky. I'm such a massive fan. I'm standing there going, hey, yeah, yeah, I bet you're a fan of bloody Butterfield more. Bloody Butterfield. What a Butterfield. And little dicky gets the fire. I was no, so, no. I was so proud. I was no. so happy. It was awesome. So, no, no. Big shout out to everyone who was um, so kind of little dicky over the weekend. Positive advice to little dicky only. All right? If you're rude to little dicky. Thanks, everyone. She'll fucking crush your cock and balls and badge and snap them. She'll freeze your vag lips and snap him. And we've got bloody Dobby. Dobby is making his first appearance on the show. Congratulations to he Dobby. He arrived! Finally. How long was that? We worked that out? Eight months? Eight until? months. Fucking ridiculous. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you hear some banging in the background, we've got some tradies here working on the podcast studio. But oh, yeah. today we are reviewing the greatest show on television. Claire, oh. how would you describe this program to someone who doesn't know anything about it? Mental illness <laughs> with single people with fake lips and really white teeth. Yeah, absolutely. And we are... Maths. We, we're, yeah, we're watching it at the moment. Maths is, a, oh. is pretty much Channel 9 in Australia's um, flagship show, um, <laughs> which is really saying something. Uh, they've got that and the block and that's it. So, um, And the footy. Like, that's the only things they have all year on so that good. station. So we're going to go through and talk about some of our favourite moments from the first week oh, of the show. Yes. So strap yourselves in and welcome to Married at First Sight 2020. 22. Alright, so we're going to go to uh, this Brent's nerves get the better of him. I'm genuinely excited to watch this again. <laughs> I think my groom will like what he sees. This bitch. Oh, who's this? My biggest fear is that tomorrow I won't that an like him yeah. and that we won't get along. Oh, look at the beak on her. <laughs> I know, like, she's pretty confident and that's wonderful, but she's got a fucking... She's powerful, Isaac. She's sh- confident. She's powerful. Dicky, she's... Leave her be. Dicky, she's got a honker on her. I'm past dating. Immature boys. I need a real man. <sighs> what? What? So what qualifies as a real man? I like beer. beer. Punch and drywall and playing footy. <laughs> In that order. Well, I see, she's... um. I remember when we were watching the show, and we've got a lot to get through. This is an entire week of math, so we can't show oh, everything. And we don't want I to get taken could. down for copyright. But no. she was pretty angry at him for what he did as a job. She was filthy that he wasn't sort of like killing it. And the thing was, he was overseas working in Dubai as like some mad party dude. or mm. He was making heaps of cash apparently. And mm. then COVID hit and he got fucked up. Mm. She didn't know that. She just judged him quite harshly straight off the bat, which was, which is, you know... Not on. Like you she need seems it. like a horrible person. She I does. Say that. And that's not even what we wanted to talk about. No. We wanted to talk about these two. There we go. In Berry, Celine and Anthony are struggling to find a connection. Oh, yep, no. Nah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So they're doing the whole um, ghost thing, right? The pottery scene from Ghost. I think that's the movie ghost. with Edric. Uh, Edric's, Edric. Um, Patrick Swayze, Edric Swayze. I haven't seen that. So it's, you know, when they're making like the, they're being all sexy and stuff and they're it's making very the sensual. Little, very sensual, playing with clay. I know I felt that when I was in primary school, making clay people. Anyway, um, these guys are having a terrible date and then Anthony. It doesn't look too bad. He's having an all right time. Oh, but this is the thing. They expect like it's going to, oh. I don't know what they expect is going to happen. But he anyway. didn't buy me a Lamborghini, so he's a piece of shit. What happens next is like. Oh, Weird oh. that she gets angry about it. I don't get it. Oh, insane. Up, 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 up. Oh. The first effort. It's not bad. It's not bad. Right, You've okay. got it all Kev, over you, Kev. by the way. It's on your hands <laughs> already. So, so she's mad here. <gasps> Look at it. Look at the face. She's like genuinely upset that he just touched her slightly above where the Isn't clay she already is. Mum, like, wouldn't you be used to sticky shit on mess? you all the time? <laughs> So she does it to him. Okay, very important. So she puts yep. a bit of clay on his face. Yep. She thinks she's fucking, yeah, nah. A 
That's enough. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that that's it. Enough. Or I'm gonna run, okay, okay, and this okay. is gonna go okay, somewhere. Okay. All right, all right, all no, right, don't right. really. No. <laughs> My makeup. <laughs> See that smile there? Like she was genuinely angry. Yeah. That was too much. Oh, he thinks he, he was like flirting with her. She she full cracks it at him. She's filthy. <laughs> Walked in. He, he he took it a bit too far. So he she's done that, a little bit on his her wrist. She's gone back with a hoodus. Yeah. And then he's gone, ha ha, we're having a great time, we're flirting, we've just got married, yada yada, and does these ones. And then she fucking goes, right. She's crazy. Once again, Anthony's attempts to inject some fun into the honeymoon have backfired. She blew that way out of proportion. I don't mind when, you know, I'm the one with the clay in my face, but I think um, with Celine, she takes herself very seriously. She, it's a hard one to crack. She's just not happy that she got him. She didn't want a dude like him because he's a really nice dude. He's like caring, opening the door, all that type of shit. Like a chivalristic. She wants, she wants a tradie that punts and punches drywall. I think a lot of these people on this show, particularly um, the men and women, well, the men and women who were like angry on this show, mm. they're used to having combative relationships. Yeah. So that she's used to like always arguing and fighting. And, and this dude seems and like he's winning, just like, probably. And winning. Scaring the shit out of these poor dudes. And old mate just is sort of used to like, you know, yeah, okay, let's let's work it out. Yada, Doesn't yada, he yada. seem lovely? He does seem nice. You calm down. <laughs> G'day, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, fuck me. Um,. We've had a bit of a medical emergency in between shooting this video. Um, our darling Rose, um, who cries a lot when we're down here in the house filming videos, we thought we'd bring her down. Yep. Um, we even shot a nice little video bringing her down and she was on the lounge having a great time. Anyway, she's decided to run upstairs. She doesn't do well with the stairs and our poor little sweetie's fallen down the fucking stairs. I reckon about eight stairs and she's cut herself up and she pulled a whole toenail off. So um, so we've taken her to the vet. Um, they, sti they didn't have to stitch her up, thankfully, but she literally, big dog toenail, ripped the whole thing out. There was a blood everywhere. So we we're a fucking mess. But listen, you okay? <laughs> I and I'd just like to say our little girl now, she's upstairs on the lounge with a blanket, a pillow. She's had peanut butter liver treats and ice cube and frozen on, and, and she's had pain relief. Yep. So she's laying there and she's all comfy. And so, I put the air con on. So for we gave her a Panadol, which you can do with dogs. Oh. Apparently, uh, the vet it's said it's the dog Panadol. I gave her. Oh, the one yeah, that she already yeah. had. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't just give an all Panadol. Well, can't you do that with dogs? Yeah, but I wouldn't. Anyway. Uh, so she's got also got Panadol and pain relief. So, yeah. Sorry about the weirdness of this video. That's why we're dressed differently. Now. Yeah, I feel disheveled AF. That's back to, right. Well, we're going to show our professionalism and get this fucking video done. Now, back to the video. Girls are happy because, like, I know. I just hope everyone else is happy. Like, I just want everyone to Bullshit, you do. <laughs> All right. So Big Norks walks in by herself. Tits McGee has entered the building. Hello. You're by yourself. Dickhead. I fucking love it. Look at that side profile. Honk. 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 Where's Anthony? What happened? John looks hot though. I can't believe it. I'm just like a bit speechless to be honest with you. She couldn't think of anything funny to say there or yeah, interesting. So she spent. I'm like totally <laughs> speechless. So we've got our first major crisis by the looks of it. Oh, I'm very surprised here. Please, where's your husband? Can we ask where your husband is? Well. Yeah. Oh, oh. I mean, women, just, women are fucked. So this whole scenario, girls in the comments will get this too. This whole them pretending to care thing with this woman they've just met, this 100% is them just being gossip seekers and wanting to know what happened. They don't give a shit about Ola. She's come in, she's prettier yeah, than all once. of them. And they're probably all going to be talking mad shit about her. And they're like, oh, my God, what happened? Tell us. As if they actually have any empathy towards the situation. Because we did think she was, like, one of the prettier ones. Yeah, she is. She's beautiful, but her soul's shit. It's dark. Yeah, as if they'd actually care. Look at them. Look at them. They're like little magpies looking for chicken. <laughs> I have yeah, more followers than you. just wanted some you. time. I mean, we had a bit of moments. Here we go. 
How good's the background music? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to throw him under the bus. Oh! So she is the definition of gaslighting. You said this Look when this was up. on the telly, right? She is. Gaslighting. It's not a word that I use. Oh, I use it now, baby. Love it. She is the definition so of what, gaslighting. So what is the definition? I can't give you the definition. But, but she is. isn't. <laughs> Okay, how about she's manipulating the situation. So yeah. she's getting she's getting her version out first. She's playing the victim. poor me, the victim. She is the victim in this. I'm not the bully. Like, I, you know, yeah. it was, I, um, what did she try and do? I'm not the bully. I'm. She's trying to turn the conversation so yeah. everyone feels sorry for her. Yes. Yeah. Well said. But he was like, oh, you know, I'm a gentleman. I'm this, I'm that. Shaming his character when he has been a gentleman. So why is she... Oh, she, she wants pity. She wants the girls to be like, oh, babe. She wants them to make him feel like a piece of shit when he comes in. So what What didn't? What they didn't show in this clip, though, mm. is what happened on the TV. Because mm. right? we watched it. Yeah, we watched it. We watched it, motherfucker. Um, he went on to say, basically in his own defence, that when he left, or the reason he left, was because she was walking around the house going... Oh, you big sook. Oh, Calling you him a princess? Sook. You're not a woman, you're a princess. You're not a man, you're a princess, all that type of stuff. And that's why he ended up leaving. So she's like going, now, now, I don't want to throw him under the bus, but... She bullied him. She's an actual yeah. bully. She is bullying. And she's a bitch. And he left. So let's, like, if to def- he left to defuse the situation. Imagine if it was the other way around. He was saying, you know, you're a bitch, you're this. If she left, everyone would be going, yes, girl, yes, good on queen. you. But because the man left... Is that not the manly thing to do? Yeah, what's, Isn't the man supposed... What's the manly thing to stick around and have a fucking blue? I know. And this bloke goes on to say, like, oh, listen, I'm not bringing this conversation up. I don't want it. This is a conversation between two people rather than... He's too all- classy for the show, really. It's a, and it, you know what? I hate to say it. Ladies, I think this is a female thing. Yeah. Like, get, like ganging it up is. on it. Like, it he's is. just like, I just want to fucking talk to you like, and have an argument, like, have the argument with, with each other. Fucking oath it is. Anyway. He went pottery and then he put clay all in my face and hair. Then he didn't like how I reacted to it because obviously I was like, that's enough in my face. The thing is, like, he said what he had to say and then he would storm off. Did oh, he's- my God! <laughs> Did he storm off though, or did he just go fuck this and leave? Because you're a crazy bitch. I think he's just like, I'm not gonna fucking argue with you. Bye. I just feel like I went downhill when um, we said our feelings for each other, and he, I asked him, do you got like scared? Him? And he said, yes, he does. And then it came to my turn, and I said, I don't feel this spark. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, That's crazy. You, go. you cut his you, ego. You cut his anyway. ego, babe. It's his it. fault, babe. They kept playing this on These the These are the worst women. We're not all like this, I swear to God. You cut his ego, babe. You destroyed his ego. Well done. You hurt him. You made him sad. Well done. You made him cry. Good on you, babe. They think they're so... Why? They think they're boss babes, don't they? These are like those chicks at school that think Ugh. they're just mad dogs. You know, we were... We were pretty, <laughs> we were pretty like angry at these people when we were watching the show, and now yeah. Rosie's falling down the stairs, and we're like, "Fucking you, yeah. slut!" <laughs> I'm here, fine. I'm like, "Yeah, fuck it, drive off a cliff." Anyway, he just said he's going back to Sydney. Mm-hmm. My uh, God. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't think you've ever said anything in our many years together of me, and I've had the reaction of. <laughs> Can we do that reaction to each other? <laughs> Daggers when this bloke walks in. Oh, if he walks in. Daggers. No. If he walks in, oh, he won't be walking out. I'll right. kill him. It's not sharp. It's not sharp. It's not sharp. It's a good thing she's not throwing him under the bus. Yes, sass queen. Yeah. Woo! Has she got Vegemite tattoo? Uh, it looks like a sandwich. It's a Vegemite tattoo. These chicks suck. You don't deserve that Vegemite tattoo. They you should all- have fucking... What's the other one? Marmite. Marmite. Get a Marmite tattoo on you, you big old Bitch. fucking nosed fucking thing. <laughs> Not much uh, being spoken between Celine and Anthony. They're strangers they, at the table. Yeah. And and mm. she, she just looks like she's checked out on him. She doesn't even glance this way. No. no. At all. Mm. It's like indifference. Okay, so old mate Anthony's returned. She's... Poor Ant, though. Buddy, ignoring him. He's Look ignoring at her. Face now, on she, it. now she's doing this face. Thinking about her next lip appointment. <laughs> Anthony, honestly, I actually I don't even have words to this bloke. Eh? Once again, she failed to have anything creative to say, so yeah. she said for the second time in the last four minutes, 
I've got nothing to say. She just wants to be on camera to get Instagram followers. <laughs> Guys, I have nothing to say. But check out my Instagram page and It'll my be an only fan. page. You've got a beautiful woman there and he left her on the honeymoon. Like, that's not how it works, mate. Oh. When, when women say mate, especially when they're fired up, I, I always, hate I always try I and get you to say mate it. to people. I can't. Call me get a mate. No, you're a darling. <laughs> I thought you were going to call me something else then. You're a c- no. <laughs> I instantly clicked with Celine at the hens. So, of course, I'm going to have her back. I'm going to have her back. I'm going to have his back. I'm going to fuck your back. I'm going to have John's back. front. <laughs> what is this have your back saying? Every season they're like, so he just didn't have my back. So because he didn't have my back, I just feel like my walls have gone up. And once the walls come up, I just can't trust They can't him. come down. The walls and are up. I just, don't I'm doing my lip face. Like, oh, how are you going? So what, what was the highlights of the honeymoon? <laughs> Look at him. He's like, are you fucking serious? Look at oh, her. She, she can't even wink. Yeah, the, I mean, the activities was it's not yet. part of the activities. We did pottery, trying to get me in the clay. Is that like your way of showing affection, you think? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Looking back on, on the whole thing, do you like wish that you didn't leave? Why is it your business? Does everybody know that? Oh, so he didn't know that everyone Poor knew. Darling. So he's walked into a bit of a... She's a bully. She a is a, a bully. These women are bullies. Wow. Obviously, Selena told everybody her side of the story already. <laughs> Threw me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. I thought she would be a little bit more respectful to the situation because I don't want to sit there and sort of have a he said, she said argument in front of everybody. Oh. Yeah, so he's just not in it for Instagram fame. Oh, he's nice. She knows if she can make a big deal out of yep. it, then she can get famous on the gram. Oh, yeah. And all the babes will be like, yeah, babe, babe it up, babe. Oh. Fuck off, you idiot. Here's my discount code. I'm going to be honest, Claire. The rest of the video goes for another 10 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's just them fucking These back people and forth. These people suck. And it's... Old mate doesn't engage, and that's what pisses them off. Yep. I think he should have fucking gone in and gone in hard, but he's trying to be respectful and not anyway. He should so. have flipped the table, and then all of their little Devon sandwiches would have just gone <laughs> in their faces. Ladies and gentlemen, we will react to some more, um, uh, what's it called, maths over the next couple of weeks. And we're sorry that this episode took a bit of a turn, but it fucking. But to sorry cheer- if I was a bit angry, but Rosie fell down the stairs. <laughs> To cheer it up, it's mail time. Three four three Charlestown, New South Wales two two nine zero is the address, and this is to me from Thomas William Barclava. Barclava. What do we got here? Tell the people. Oh, oh, are these little toys. It's a little camera. Are these little? Oh no. The, the clicker fell Can't off. Can't do that. Oh, okay, I've broken it. We okay. have table tennis balls. We have a frog, a magnet frog. <laughs> is this all like themed or? We have a seahorse hanger. Did you just go through your fucking cupboards? <laughs> we have a Carlton draft um, magnet. That's cool. Oh, Put that on the fridge. Wanted one of them. Yeah. <laughs> what else have we got? Aww. What's in here? It's a little box. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, it's some mini mouse earrings. Mini and Mickey earrings, I think. Or are they cufflinks? Cufflinks, I think. No, they're earrings. Oh. Oh, thanks, man. That's lovely. That's beautiful. He got a lot. Yeah, thanks, mate. Aww. Good on you, Thomas. Oh, Aww. happy bur- happy holidays. Oh, oh. First of all, thank you. I'm an alcoholic stoner. <laughs> 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 thank you very much to you both. Uh, got down to 5.8 stone. Not good. Went on detox back uh, to 68. Feel much better. Uh, well done, mate. Uh, thank you for introducing me to Michaela Peterson on the t- uh, oh wow on the diet that she saved me. A happy birthday for the fourth little diggy. Thank um, you. Same day as me. Fuck yeah. Well done. Keep it up. Uh, Merry Christmas, you good motherfucker. Give him hell. I know you mean well, and you just want everybody to be better. Oh. Thank you very Ooh. much. And you. Oh, oh, hope your wedding's awesome. He drew a a, jizz, oh. a penis jizzing into a vagina and a butthole and a finger. Thank you. Fuck a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. What is in here? I am terrified. A syringe. Oh, uh, anal with anal and rectal fittings. What the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> this better not be used, motherfucker. That's the weirdest thing we've ever been sent. I'm throwing that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Wow. Um, a tie. A Mickey Mouse tie. He's 100% gone through his, like, attic or something and just gone, you Ooh, know what? an aerator for wine. Thanks, man. Thank you. Did you steal all this? <laughs> <laughs> what the... F the fuck is this? Meat undies, I bet you. It's meat. It's in a little meat container, which is cool. I think it's an apron. Ooh. It is. It's a big Ooh. meaty apron. Oh, that's different. Thank you very much. This is Thank you. I'll, I'll wear that on our wedding night. Yeah. Um, Mickey stickers. Mouse stickers. Thank you. We have a Mickey Mouse 2015 calendar. Thanks. Can't wait to write down all the dates I've got on this year. Has he written in it? I don't know. He should have written some dates in there, big fella. Oh, it smells. It does. Ooh. It's a bit woofy. Ooh, bit baby. Woofy. And we have a balloon, couple mustache balloons. <laughs> All right, I'm happy with it. Thank uh, you. Moving on. This is for you, little Dixon. Thank you. This is you. from uh, Joanna Barry. Thanks, Joanna. Top Aww. that. Top that, Joanna. Okay, so we've got Joe's Creations. Woo. Very well, Joe. <gasps> Hello, I talked to Claire on Instagram about yes. making something for you guys. I made some custom things from resin. If they're bendy when they get to you, just lay them on flat for a bit. What is it? Ooh, Ooh, it's a little bell and um Snow White and Bell, it's beautiful. Oh, what's this? Thank you. Fuck you to the moon, a little like a cup That's holder amazing. thing. I'll put that on my desk. Well I think this one, if I remember, I think it's just to put like jewellery on and put like little rings. Yeah, it or... says a it's a dish. Yeah, a little dish, it's beautiful. Dish, dish, dish. Thank you very wow. much. That's awesome. Thank you. So you can check out um oh that's how to it. I'll tag you on Instagram for it too. Thanks heaps. And then there's teamwork like the pink. Um, and spontaneity cards. Oh, we need we need that. Mail time. What's happened? I don't know. Now we've got some personalised um, 3D gifted things. Oh my god. Oh. They're the little, dicks. They're little dicks. This is a uh, teeny weeny. It's a little Asian man with a hat on. They're so cute. This is a little frog or something, little penis. He's got a little Hogwarts he's got hat. Little, he's got, <laughs> put him in the background. Look, Dobby. Little doodle. What the fuck? I don't. That's a devil. I this love them. This is from um, Tracified Dicks, a devilish prick. Wow. Okay. Incredible. I love it. And what's this? Is this a big, bigger dick? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's a fairy house. Okay, I didn't expect that. Can I have this? Yeah, of course. We'll put the digs in it. Hope you enjoy your fairy house. Oh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go and show Rosie the fairy house. Um, oh, cheer up. Thank you very much to everyone who sent something in to the mailbag. Married at first sight, fuck you to the moon. Rosie will get better. Um, send her a love. Um, we love fairy houses. Feel free to send them in. We're going to look after our dog now. Toodle yeah. off well. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.